Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I want to show you how to use the tags in Wix by having a little bit of code but in this uh, specific video I'm going to show you how anytime you do a new selection you don't have to manually undo the last one you did. Now before I start I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel and please if you haven't subscribed do that will help me a lot and let's get into this video. So one of the things that happens in Wix is anytime you use the tags and this is one example I have here is that let's say if you have a selection right and you go to a next one the last one stays which is useful for certain projects or websites but maybe you're not looking for that maybe you're looking something more like what I'm going to show you in this video that when you do a selection the last one automatically unselects so you can go to a different selection and then again is independent from each other so this is something that it's going to be very easy to do and right now i'm going to show you how uh, step by step also if you get stuck or you need help troubleshooting or it's not working properly send me a message i'll be very happy to help you and usually uh, it could be something as simple as not adding a handle or maybe you just by accident type a keyword on the uh, code and that's why it's just not working but again, I'm gonna show you how to do all this and it's gonna be very easy. Either you already have a tag selection, you can just skip to that point, but if you're just barely adding a tag, then this is gonna be much easier to follow because I'm gonna show you step-by-step step from the beginning. Okay, so as I promised, we're gonna start from scratch. Now, if you already have uh, to the point where you already have a repeater and you just want to add tags, then feel free to skip. But if you're pretty much creating everything from like the repeater, adding all the collections and stuff, then uh, just follow through here. So we're going to first go and find a page right now. So I'm just going to go here and skip this. I don't need this because I'm just creating this as a, to, a way to show you how to add this function to the site, right? So here, create a website with editor, uh, classic editor. So we're just going to click there. And then we're going to use a blank template. And the reason why I use a blank template is because, again, I want to make sure you see that this something that wasn't added somewhere in between and you miss a step. So that's why I go all the way from the beginning. Now, one of the things that we're going to do in this part just to speed up this process is that when we create a collection, we're going to use one that already Wix has, and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. First, one of the things you want to make sure it's on is your developer mode. So you're going to go on this part right here, which is going to be uh, this one right here. And you're going to click on the developer mode. And what it's going to do is is gonna help you see some tools that are available that currently you're not gonna be able to find if you're just on your regular uh, editor, right? So once you turn it on, you're gonna see this uh, bar right here and this dashboard on the bottom. So right now we can just click on top of this to minimize it and this one as well, because we're not gonna use it yet. The other thing is that once you turn it on, then if you turn it off, there's still some tools that you're going to be able to access. But to add what we're going to show you today is uh, you have to have it on. OK, so the one thing that you have to go is either create a um, collection from here. Right? So you can go directly in here, create a new collection or you can go right here on pages and you're going to see this option dynamic pages. If you don't see this, it's most likely because your developer mode is off. So we're going to go here and add to the site. Now, again, I say we're going to use this to speed up the process because I want to make sure that I don't spend a lot of time on this part because this is something that is going to be very easy to follow. And if you haven't seen how to create a collection, just make sure you watch my other video that I already have where I show you step by step on how to do it. Now, we're going to use 
the same one as the example I showed earlier. So we're gonna add services. And what this is gonna do is gonna create a collection for services. The only thing that this uh, collection is not gonna have is the tags. So once it creates it, you're gonna see it has the name, has price, image. So up to this step, if you already have a collection in your account, then all you have to do is just go in this section right here and we're gonna add tags. So we're gonna scroll down here and find the option tags. And then you have the option to rename this. Now in this case, I'm just gonna leave it the way the system has it already. But if you change it, this will automatically change. So if you already created your collection and you for some reason name it something like, let's say, um, service tag, then as you can see, the field key already changed. And this is important because we're gonna use it uh, in a little bit. Now, I'm just gonna go back here and I'm gonna add it one more time. Okay, so we're gonna go back here and I'm just gonna add it normally again, with tags, and it's just gonna keep it as tags. So I'm gonna click save. And then within the tags section, what I'm gonna do is I can add a specific words that I can use to filter, right? So at one, I can do all services and then click enter and I just added that tag. So I can use all services for all the products. So that way, whenever they do the selection of all services, then it's gonna stay, uh, always gonna show all the services. Then we're gonna add another tab, which is gonna be either uh, makeup. So that way I can have different products to show makeup. So let me go here and scroll this part right here. And then we're gonna do another tag. So this one we can name it makeup and then enter. And let's say this is also a skin product, okay? So we're gonna, you can add multiple tags to one product. That's how you can take advantage of either if you have a service or product that falls in different categories, then you can use tags to be able to do searches like this. So let's say we have makeup skin product and here we're gonna do, uh, what else? Manicure, okay? Again, don't, don't look at these services because it might not match, but again, this is just for me to show you how to use the tags. So we're gonna, now once you add the tags that you need, you can reuse them all the time. So let's say on this one, I wanna use also all services. And then here I want to use skin product and then here I want to use manicure and makeup. Just an example. Okay. So you have all your tags here. We're going to add one more. Uh, let's do skin product. You have all your tags. And one of the things is that once you add a tag, you can reuse it on anytime you add a new product, you can keep reusing them. So now we have our tags in our collection. We're going to close this. And then we're gonna go and add our tag selection right here. So you're gonna go on the plus button, then you're gonna go to input, and then you're gonna look for selection tags. And you can use any of these ones that you like best. Uh, in this case, we're just gonna use this one. And then once I added it here, I can just move this a little bit lower. And let's say we're gonna put it right there. And then you, we're gonna go to manage choices and we're gonna delete the ones that already have in this, um, in this uh, tags. And this is already automatically added by the system. So that's why it's there. It's not that we added it before. So we're gonna go here. And then once you have this, we're gonna add all services. Now, one of the things is the there's two things on this item right here you have what's called label and then value the label you can type anything but the value has to be exactly the same as what you have in your collection 
right here. So the value has to match exactly how you had it in your tags here. So let's move this one this way so it's easier to follow. So as you can see here, I have capital A, capital S, and exactly the way I have it here, it has to be on your uh, tags because if you don't have it the same way, it's not gonna work. So just keep that in mind, and that's very, very important because many times people miss that step. So whenever you edit the label, right, the label can be anything. So you can even have it as like, like this. All services makeup, right? You can name it anything, but the ID, the what's it called? Me do the value has to be exactly as in your collection. So let's do this one one more time. We're gonna do all services. In this case, just for me to keep it simple, I would go here and then I'll do. Sorry, I will do value and I'll do the same, and then I'm gonna do another one. And the, this one, the label is going to be makeup. And then I'll just copy this and then edit the value and paste. So what I'm doing on my keyword, because people have told me before, oh, I don't know where you got that from. All I do is copy paste on my keyword. So that's how I, I come with that. Uh, then we're going to do the label and we're going to do skin product. And the way I do it is I have a second monitor, so I have already opened my collection. So that's how I'm able to copy and paste too. So that way I don't have to memorize. Now, if you don't have that, then I will just add a uh, data set, have it already connected and it's easier for me to find it. And I'll show you how right now. So we're gonna do this one. So we have all services, makeup, skin product, and then uh, I think we're missing manicure. So that's the last one. Manicure. And then a copy. And then we're going to do the value. And paste right there. So we have all our items right here. Now all I have to do is go in the content manager. You go to add element. And then data set. So once I add the data set. I can go to settings, connect it to the services, and then right here, this is the number of items that you want to display. If you have a repeater, right, in this case, because we added by the system, then um, you know how to use a repeater. But again, if you have questions or you don't know how to do step, just find my other videos. I show how to do uh, these uh, extra steps. But again, if you already have it, then you don't have to worry. So now that we have our data set, we have our tags, our repeater, now we can go and start adding our code. And this is gonna be the easiest part. Now, before I copy and paste this code that you're gonna have access in my website, I have the link in the description. You can go copy the, the code and just paste it. There are some things that are gonna happen. If you already have two or three data sets on the same page, this data set name might be different, the ID. So when I click on this one, you'll see the ID here is data set one. But for you, it could be data set two, three. So just keep in mind that we can update the code. Same thing, selection tags. This one, we didn't change it, so I keep it the same. And then uh, the repeater here is list repeater, but I might just have to update it to something. So now I'm just gonna go and copy the code Again, just to make it easy, you don't have to be worrying about how to create this code. All you have to do is just go on my site, copy it, and then just paste it right here. So once you have the code here, if it gives you some errors, for example, if this is a data set two, right? And then something like this is red, all you have to do is you have to wait. One is you have to rename the ID of your data set or your item or change it on the code right here where you see the, uh, the error. So here is data set one. So either I uh, change the number one to a two or here I can just replace this one. So that way. So again, that's the only reason why I explain that is because many times people have problems or have these issues on how to connect this. 
Second thing is the selection tax here is the same as what we have here on our um, code. And lastly, we have the repeater, right? In this case, this won't affect anything on the name because it's connected to the same data set. So let me show you what the code is or looks like, right? So you have the data and then you have the selections tag, which it says on change. So what we have to do is because it says on change, we have to add a handle to this. So we're going to click on here and then we're going to click on the handle right here. So we're going to add this handle on change. And then if yours has a number one in here in front, make sure just delete that one because it has to be exactly like here. So we're going to click the plus button and now it should look something like this. We're not going to need it. Even though it was added, we're just going to remove it because we already have it right here. So now these uh, tags have the handle and then we have our data set here and it's going to filter, right? Now the other thing that we have to update is this part right here. So in this case, my uh, collection or my uh, tags inside the collection, the value is a right string, but yours could be something like service tag, product tag, whatever it is, this is how you're gonna do it. You're gonna go inside your collection, you're gonna find the one where the tags are, and then right here, you're gonna click on edit, and all you need is this field key, and you're gonna copy this. Now, again, if you had a different name, this field key is gonna be different, but it doesn't matter, all you have to do is copy this, and then we can go back here and replace this right here. So once you do that, it should be all good. And then now let's just uh, test how our site is gonna work. And anytime you test, if you have this open, it will also show you if there's errors. So we can just either go here. So as you can see right now, I have it as makeup. When I do the second, it's connecting, see? But one thing that you notice, nothing is changing. Why is that? Let's see. So either it's not connected, so we're gonna make sure, right? So what we did is we connected it to this, right? Because that's our data set one, but this repeater is connected to this one right here. So what we can do is what I mentioned earlier. If you already have multiple data sets, what you wanna do is either replace the name or uh, completely change it in the code. In this case, what we're gonna do, right? This one is named dynamic data set, right? So I can either copy this and replace it right here. And that's what I'm gonna do. And then I can replace it here too. And now it's gonna work. So we're gonna go in preview. And once it's loading. Okay, so I had to pause it because my internet was a little slow. But okay, so as you can see now, it's gonna give me all the specific selections that I do. And then on all services, I only put three, that's why it's only showing three, but you can add all services tag on all of your products or services and it's gonna work okay. So again, hopefully this is something that helps you. If you have questions, feel free to send me a message and I'll be very happy to help you. Thank you again for the support and see you on the next video.